Oh, it's too early. All right, six o'clock. Are we being recorded? I'm yep. recording. I'm doing this on. Uh, All right. Um, we have examination of meeting minutes from the 12th and the 26th. Just need to finish. What's going on? That the minutes of February 12th be accepted as read. Uh, second. You want your that? Any discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Yeah. They're canceling this one. I make the motion to accept the minutes of February 26th. Second. Has it been read? Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll abstain as I wasn't present. Um, audience participation. Anything? Come on down, George. Oh, you did the same. Not this one. Oh, no, it's a new Just that. Just that. It's only March, so we're not talking park yet, George. <laughs> so we'll be talking park. <laughs> What do you got for? Yes, dear. Could you remind me which one you were not able to sign? I didn't write. 26. Thank you. First, I'd like to thank PJ TJ for making sure the sound system has been improved after a year and a half of struggling with this. We now have a sound system that when you listen to it on YouTube as well as live, you can hear the people and what they're saying, and you can understand what they're saying. So it's a great improvement. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a reason for us to share with the community that now they can watch it without commercials and hear what is going, what is taking place sure, at the meetings. And hopefully moment. we can get some community involvement as a result of people becoming more aware of what's happening in town. Mm -hmm. My second item that I like to touch on is that there's been some confusion in this last go around with the raising of and lowering of the bike to half mass. Um, notices were sent out by the state for uh, the adjustment of the flags and uh, until I learned tonight that our new administrator took care of it himself, um, the system that had been in place has not worked. Um, so I'm suggesting that the select board uh, make some decisions and assign the appropriate people to maintain the flags mm -hmm. at half mass when they're uh, supposed to be according to the state and federal government. Uh, okay. Is there any thought about that? I was thinking that you you are up to date on this. I I think you would work perfectly for that. Second. I, unfortunately, I'm not in town that much, and my location is not conducive to downtown. Plan for, was my um, it, it's important yeah. enough that it should be an assigned job to an employee of this of the town, not uh, a volunteer. Well, I don't know. It's kind of hard. I don't think we can make any decisions tonight, but we can think about it. We'll put it on the agenda for next week to talk about. Okay, that's yeah. great. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um. Next up, we have Highway. Come on down, Highway. Somebody has a color. Yes. No, not really. <laughs> the SBF 50. Oh, geez. <clears throat> um, let's see. We'll start off with um, I'm in the process of writing or assisting in writing um, two grants mm -hmm. one for Beach Hill and one for Beach Hill, Mary. Okay. Beach Hill? Yeah. <laughs> You're writing for both? And Gore. Well, yes. Um, 
And in the uh, directions and all that stuff, they asked for pictures and this, that, everything else. Um, and they also asked you for residents for letters okay. from the road. Who live on the road, travel the road, so on and so forth. Um, it would be nice if they would just put the name, address where they live, and so on and so forth, and okay. describe the conditions and what they think, and so on and so forth. On okay. That. <clears throat> um, that's why I'm, I'm asking now. Give it, you know, a couple months or so, so okay. people have time to, you know, think about it. And once it's the paper. Yeah. Address the letters to you. Um. Yeah, you can. Okay, and it's Beach Hill, Gore Road, and what was it? Beach Hill and Gore. Just the two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as you know, when we did um, North Blanford, um, the, the uh, they request at least a ten percent percent mm -hmm. into the uh, uh, how much the money is for the grant, and so on and so forth. The town picks up. Um, so I, I believe we're, if we get one, that'd be great. If we get two, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. But I perceive probably just one out of them. Okay. Um, but hey, you never know. So you're looking at <clears throat> one point five million for one road. And another five hundred and sixty thousand for the other road. Okay, All so right. we would have to put up ten percent. Yeah. <clears throat> now, either or or both. Or both. Correct. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, the thing is, right now is with Gore Road. Yeah. Um, when the new fiscal year rolls around, we get another allotment of, of Chapter ninety. <clears throat> there will be enough in there to pay for it to get done with Chapter ninety if we don't get the grant. Okay. Oh, if we don't get the grant, yeah, right? That's the five hundred thousand dollar one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I'm praying, really, I'm, I'm praying that we do get the grant, so I can take that money and spend it on other things in the town. Sure. Yeah. You know. Okay. Anything, PJ? Yeah. Uh, just a quick question on on Gore Road. Is there any way we can widen that a little bit so we can get better storm drainage? <sighs> we could. We could have, um, we can send out letters to the residents and see if you are able to want to give us an extra four or five feet. But um, it's pretty narrow in, in spots. Yeah, know, that's and, right. And, and some of those banks are pretty high, especially if you're, if you're coming from um, North Street coming down on yeah. the left hand side, you got pretty big banks on right. that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what the residents would say. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the right side is not too bad. Um, so I've been informed, I've seen that some of them are paved swales down through there, mm -hmm. which is nice. So um, our, our game plan too is to go in there and do some edge work all the way down around on the one side, clean it all up for them on that. So yeah, my thoughts were there for that. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm just wondering, with the reverse 911, could we send out a call to residents just on those roads and ask them about committing letters? I'm not sure. Do you know how that works, Joanne? I'm trying to remember if you can sort by. I don't know if you've used that before, Mike. Um, the Tell me about it. Reverse 911, if we could sort it by road. I've never I've used it. I've only used it once. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to think of who might Please, Chief, tomorrow. Probably answer okay. that. Um, we find out. You're married. Just preface the um, opening with for residents of Gore, Birch, and Beach Hill Roads only. Yeah. Just, yeah. Okay. That would do it. We could do it that way. Okay. And then just ask them to, um, if they would ask them if they're interested in helping forward the possibility of a grant, <laughs> they would send a letter with any road conditions and concern. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you want to work on writing that up, Mike, the um, a reverse 911, um, asking residents of Gore and Beach, we said, mm -hmm. um, to help with writing letters um, for purposes of receiving a grant. Gore Beach, what was the last one? Yeah, there were three, two, Gore Beach. Mm -hmm. Weren't there three roads? No. There was. The, 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 the very beginning, there was three. Now it's just two. Yeah. Yeah. Which one's the 560 road? Gore. 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 Uh, it, on this beach hill, is yes. that going to include anything about the bridge? No, nothing. That's no, that's a whole different. I, I know. Yeah. I didn't know if it was going to be time wise where we could. That's all. Well, I guess it all depends if we get the grant. 
I would be in that, but I just didn't know. Wasn't Springfield Water going to help us with that or something at one point? Not sure. It would be nice. Uh, I'm going to have, have Mike reach out to Nicole and um, talk to her because the uh, the grant itself, you got a grant for $100,000. The bill is $130,579, I think it was. Or that's what we, we are going to be looking for another 31000 for Beach Hill, you're talking about right bridge. now. If you want bridge. to talk a little bit more about that, that is on the agenda to sign tonight. Huh? Oh, somebody's trying to come yeah, over. We have it on to sign tonight. Oh, the warrant? No, no, the uh, the Massworks grant. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. For uh, the Beach Hill Road Bridge, bridge Engineering. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. Yep. Yeah, so. Um, let's see here. That um, contract, uh, he got the contract. Okay. Um, right here. So you're probably wondering about the, the water underneath the bridge mm -hmm. on Russell stage. I know Jeff knows a lot about it. There's a lot of water, mm -hmm. a lot of water. <clears throat> um, I talked to Steve Hart months ago about it. And he says there's a drain all the way in. There is. Uh, yeah. Well, the water's, not, the water's not coming from It's there. never been clean probably since they put it in. The water's not coming there. Because where's it coming from? Where's it coming from? You know the, you know, you know the house mm -hmm. right there? Mm -hmm. So you look at the house and you go up to the foundation of the garage, where I guess it was. Garage. Yeah. And <clears throat> if you look at it to the kitty corner, there's another little shed. Mm -hmm. Between there and that foundation, there's a stream running through there. And it comes right out back and on top of okay, it's obvious coming from Kayla. Um I was asked. And Ray and I took a walk through there. It's it's a beast getting through there. I mean, you you need you know a lot of stuff to get in there and get it all done. But so is it a, a water leak or everything? No, it's, no, no, it's a natural it's, it's water. What's it's that? Like on the surface water. Oh yeah. It's it's pouring, pouring down. And it's coming all the way down from Kalen Road or it's coming either at Kalen Road or coming right out of the hill. And when it comes down and around and through, you know where the gate is, correct? Well, probably about 20 feet inward, you can see where the water is just pouring in. Well, actually, believe it or not, it starts at my house. It goes back across the street through that yard. Oh, it does? It's it? under Kalen Road, comes out on the back side of that hill, and then that's where everything's going. Yeah. So yeah. where are we thinking of? Correcting it, we think you get a read. I, well, I'm just bringing the property back. Yeah, that's not right. Yeah, mean. in the back part, but we yeah. own part of that. Pardon? We own part of that, the town. Is it landlocked or is it come to the? Uh, you, there's a right of way through to that back piece where the garage was, and that's where the culvert is. Yeah, yeah, but the, the, see, the, the culvert isn't part of it. No, no, that's the DOT put that in. I know they did. Yes. I to help us out so that water wouldn't run there. But well, the water the water's not coming from that no, part because it's so grown up that everything's moved. But uh, yeah, you need you need to get somebody in there to. So we need an engineer. Probably. Is there any way it can be DOT's problem? No. <laughs> oh, that's, that's not. No, that's not. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Um, Easter Bunny too, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, no. Okay, so do you want to reach out? to contact an engineer to take a look at the problem? Is this something that we can even afford to look into this year? Do we? We can look into it. <laughs> yeah, that, that I guess we should it. probably look into it so we can start to um, put figure money in, yeah. yeah, figure out what we're gonna finance for next year. I mean, the engineer part probably wouldn't be that expensive. Okay. Um, when you start getting, once he gets designed it and he wants to implement the project, yeah, yeah. that's gonna be the most expensive part. I know it. Do you want to start that process? Yeah, I, I, I can get hold of a uh, guilt um, time bond. Okay. Thank you. Um, oh, yeah, this is a good one. <clears throat> so, you remember a few months ago, I asked you about permission to, you know, take some of the trees down for the right of way by, by the salt barn. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, there's going to be an issue. Huh, TJ? <laughs> well, 
So what happened? Out. Well, when you pull out, okay, and look up the hill, up, up the road a little bit, mm -hmm. um, you can see that there's a six pine trees. Yeah. Are we talking but, left or right from the uh, south right side? Right, right side. Okay. Coming out. All right. There's six pine trees there. Mm -hmm. Um, Joan Kane planted them. Are they on her property? No. Okay. Could you repeat what you just said? I'm sorry. I didn't hear it. He said John Kane up planted. John Kane planted Kane. trees across not from her house. So a resident planted Kana? trees. Kana, yeah. Kana is a Kana? Yeah. All right. But it's not on her property. No. No. Okay. So what's the problem? That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> They're not on her property. So. No. No. <laughs> Go ahead, TJ. <laughs> Give her Kara's number. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't care. Give her no. You well, not take them down. That's taken I, down. I, I know. I know. But I, I, I've i dealt with her before, and a few other people have dealt, and they understand. Yeah. No, I understand that. Um, The other situation conversation with Kena is um something we don't are not talking about in public meeting and is in the, the hands of the lawyers is my understanding. Right. So I don't know yes. if this needs yeah. to be included in that, but no. I, no, no. no. Uh, okay. uh, uh, cross, cross, cross the street. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then Okay. I mean, do you want us to give you permission again? So you have it on record. You want us to send her a letter? <laughs> it's, it's a letter. Yes. Not that, you. that would that would be awesome. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. That those trees have to come down. Yes, they do. Do you have any yeah. ribbon on them so we can tell where they are? I can, if you could. I, I don't mean today, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Mark, and and so I, yeah, yeah. Well, I'd like to look at them so when people have questions, I can actually mm -hmm. answer. That yeah. would be good. So, Mike, if you can draft a letter um, to the Canas to let them know that the select board has um, requested that pine trees come down. Um, coming out of the salt shed, maybe they get forwarded, um, to help with, uh, what is it? Line of sight. Line safety. of sight, yep. for yeah. safety purposes. It's, it's difficult, because when you come it in, and you come to the road, you actually have I mean, to pull out. I don't know, is writing her letter just? No, it has a lot of intent. Yeah, yeah but why? It's not her property. Why are we writing her a letter? Why, why would you write me a letter and tell me you're cutting trees down across the street from me? Just I, nice. Am I wrong, Joanne? I'll send one as a courtesy. It might just stop her from going over the top. Okay. I, I just think it's like a little, hey, here's what we're doing because yeah. we yeah. have to. Yeah. But we want you to be notified yeah. that she thinks that it's important to yes. us. Yeah. You know? at, at least, at least my, I think that if we let her know what's going to happen, she'd be braced for it instead of coming home and seeing it's all gone. Well, yeah. Wait until she comes home and sees the ash trees that take it down. Yeah, but they're, they're going to come and get rid of them all. And she, she didn't want those pine trees. Wouldn't they have gotten permission from her to do that? The ash trees? Isn't that ever source? It's ever source. Yeah, they, would have, they would have called her, I think. Yeah, it's not they not called us to get take something out. Yeah. But she, she probably knows about it. Yeah. Um, one more thing. Um, remember, probably back, uh, let's see here, 2020, we did a uh, Blanford Pavement Management Report through PD, mm -hmm. right? Um, so the gentleman contacted me a while ago if I if he wanted to do an update on the paved roads. Okay. Um, the price is fifteen thousand eight hundred and thirty six dollars and ninety cents. So give us another report card. Yes. Mm, I mean, it was twenty twenty. It's been four years. Yes. How often to the recommended that we? I, I'm not sure this is the first one I've ever done. I mean, it, it the information they put on it is it's very helpful. Okay. You know, it, especially when it comes towards writing grants and all that stuff, you know. But <clears throat> why don't we talk about budgeting for next year? Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, absolutely. Sounds good. Dave, yeah, I mean, typically in, in my experience, we've done about every three years, but we talked earlier about seeing if we could find some alternative funding for it. Yeah, I, I talked I talk to a gentleman and asked him um, if there's any possibility of there's any grants out there or whatever that we can apply for. Yeah, I mean, you know, if it's, if we can get it free, fantastic. If not, I would work into the budget. For yes. the okay. Okay. Right. Even a partial. I, I got a question for you if you're done. Are you done? I can't be. No, no, I'm not no, done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. So the old mini excavator, are yeah. you going to advertise that in the paper for sale like we should be? Yeah, why wouldn't we? Okay, I just wanted to know because I've 
had a few people ask me about it. It won't be in the paper. Why not? It's going to go out to probably Minnesota or through uh, Goldberg's. You, you can put it in the paper as excess of equipment. Bids. And bid it. Right. It's got to be bid. I know. Yeah. But you can put it in the paper. That's where most everybody else does it. So cause a lot of people don't know those other mass stuff, you know. No, you'd be surprised on people. Well, I, I know, know, but I'm just saying there should be an alternative. Well, yes, that's that's all I'm saying. Get that what you want. That's what I'd like to see. Okay. So how I'll go down if I want. <laughs> Place any now maybe somebody would want it for parts. Maybe somebody would want it to fix it. Yeah, very fixable. That's it. So okay. that's that. Um, when Mike is all set, have everything signed. Uh, we need to email that back. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Mr. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Revolving. Revolving, correct. Yeah. And we, we do that. Uh, copy me on it. I will do that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Question, Joanne? Yeah, can I bring up something real quick before sure. I forget once again? Yeah. I don't know if you guys are aware, but we still have no sprinklers. Sprinklers for, for the, oh, the here. building. If we start on fire, we're done. Okay, um, what did we pay for? We paid for a ton of stuff. Um, it sprinkler? started with Christopher because we've spent a small fortune with that company, um, what's the name of it? Fire. The fire control system. Yeah. We've spent a small fortune in the last, and he was looking into what have they done? Why have they done all this work at this expense and we still don't have sprinklers? Right. And that's where it ended. Mm -hmm. And I just asked Hoppy last week if they were back on and he said no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Mike, if you'll follow up on um see what Christopher's done so far and then follow up on with the fire control safety people. Thank you, Joanne. Yeah, if we pay money, we should have a report, right? Pay money should have it working. Right? <laughs> yeah, a report of why it isn't working. <laughs> Thanks, Joanne. All right. That's great. Town administrator, what do you got for us, Mike? Oh, not too much. We've been working um I've been working on one step grants with well with him and also with um, with the water department. Uh, FinCom has been started their budget review last Thursday. We'll be meeting again tomorrow, this Thursday, and I'm hoping we will conclude it next Tuesday. Okay. And we'll be through everything by then. Um, we may have to do some follow up after that if people can't make meetings. Uh, just if. Anyone on the board wants to uh, attend, uh, there's a number of meetings coming up. Uh, we're doing a Maya uh, review of our policy on 9.30 on Thursday, okay. prior to the finance committee meeting. And then uh, Maya will be looking at the risk management action plan on March 19th at 10 a.m. Okay. So if anyone wants to attend those meetings, I'll, I'll, I'll send out a reminder uh, I know it's typical for you. Yeah. Can you try to talk a little louder, please? I'm sorry. I can try. Uh, I will try anyway. Um, I'll try and send out reminders if anyone, and if you want to attend that. Uh, but uh, those are two meetings that we're going to be having. Next Monday, uh, we're going to be doing a review of the uh, computer service with mm -hmm. Novus on Monday at 2.30. Okay. And finally, there is an environmental emergency plan meeting at four o'clock next Thursday. So this room is going to be busy all day. Okay. Uh, so if anyone, any of you want to attend that, uh, Dave has probably told you this before. He says he's he's gotten this before, the number before, but uh, we received today uh, a letter from uh, the governor's office regarding our chapter 90 funds. Mm -hmm. So it's official now. We're getting for the next fiscal year, $257,382.37. Okay. And I think that's all I have right now. Okay. Um, finance meetings, just FYI, uh, some of the Blanford departments are notorious for not responding to things. I know. Um, you've got to chase them down. They, I have. Yeah, they, um, they, I know it's frustrating, but... Um, we do have a lot of volunteer boards, and sometimes people are hard to get a hold of. Um, but 
And for the most part, there's small budgets if, if necessary. Uh, the finance committee and I have just gone through and for the most part level funded and, and gave small increases to the paid staff. Okay. But uh, as far as budget reviews, uh, there's, a, there's a famous saying, uh, if you're not on the table, you're on the menu. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, it's good if you can attend. Uh, we haven't really uh, savaged anyone's budgets, but uh, okay. uh, certainly it's it's good to to be there and actually uh, so explain and support yeah. the reasons for your budget request, yeah. particularly if you particularly if you haven't spent that out before. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, uh, we had a particular question. I'll ask you about it afterwards. Okay. Regarding uh, recreation. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. I don't know. I don't care about that. Um, okay. The uh, what was I going to say? We have the warrant payroll for payment. Um. Payroll number 17. Is that in here, Joanne, or is that yeah, the ones we filled up there. this right yeah. here? All right, for 27,379. Yeah, Mike, give me an update on those meetings when you're, you know, so I can attend if I can. Okay. Thank you. I'll, I'll send you, yeah, I'll send them as I come. Yeah. So I'd make a motion to approve warrant 17 payroll for payment. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, we have the VDAR financial software contract. So it's actually V A E A R, the VADAR. Okay. VADAR. Oh, yeah. um, There's an A in there. There's an A in there. Not in this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, we have a contract for that. You requested that I review it, and I did do yep. that. Uh, I found nothing objectionable in the contract. It's pretty standard okay. uh, contract terms, nothing impressive or um, that, that I felt the need to negotiate with uh, with the company on. Uh, in fact, something for pretty generous as far as, as terms. Um, so I, I'm comfortable with the having signed the, with the signing the contract. Okay. Um, and the amount is for what we had already agreed on. Uh, it was for, as far as I know, yes. Uh, I wasn't even in the negotiations. And we have a grant for yes. the transition. There's a lot of paper. There's a lot of pages there, but. Stability <laughs> stuff. It's for a six year payment plan, 0% yes. interest. And it's normalized over the, there's a, a fairly large upfront cost for onboarding, yep. but it's socialized over the, uh, the term of the contract without a, uh, without a penalty. So it starts the first year is $59,000 roughly. And then each consecutive year after is about 16,000. Yes. So the initial one is so that startup fee. And we're doing this with a state contract. Yeah. Um, and I did do, now that particular state contract requires me to reach out to three different vendors of the software. Um, so I, I did do that, but I did not get responses. Okay. But the requirement is just to solicit votes. Do you remember off the top of your head how much the, of this was the um, grant? I, what, I can't remember what we had received the grant. I know it was a substantial amount to start it up. I, I don't have that in front of me. Okay. I, I don't like to give numbers unless I'm certain. Do you guys have any questions on this? No. We're following your lead. <laughs> I was just trying to see the, okay, so it's an additional. So we're, the original term of this agreement is for three years. Um, to renew the agreement for additional three years now, according to the schedule of rates in terms of outlining attachment. And that's uh, that's really something that's that's significant as far as mass uh, laws. Uh, if we went to the full six years at once, we'd have to go to town meeting for it. Okay. 
Um, motion to approve the um, VADAR financial software contract as written. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, and then we've got the mass work grant, which is this. That's a big fat one too. On the sheet. Yeah. There's more than one place to sign in that one, I believe. Yeah, I always get confused on these. All right, so I see down here. And there's something for Jennifer as well. Oh, she needs to sign. Okay. Today is the fourth. Some of these may change. We looked at the uh, the drawdown, and that's our best estimate uh, over the next three years. The remainder of this year, 25 and 26. Okay. Um, we kind of negotiated that as, as to be as, as advantageous to us and give us as much time as possible. So this is saying that I can't sign, I cannot self-certify your own signature as a single signer listed above. I no, I, I can I can do that for you. Like it's simply you can't you can't say I witnessed. It's sort of witnessing your signature. So do you need to sign down here? Yes, I do. Okay. So um, I'm going to leave that blank then. There's an area for you to sign on that page. On the though. front. I did that, and then I signed where it's looking for my yep, signature. Yep, that's where. Okay. That's where you do it. I called them today and they said to uh, not to fill out ahead of time to do it contemporaneously with you signing. Okay. All right. Um, and then we've got the Pioneer Valley Planning Housing Rehab Town Owner Agreement for 4 Wyman Road. We discussed that grant last week and this is another one coming yep. through. Okay. So this is for um, great. Good. Um, motion to approve the Pioneer Valley Planning um, Commission Housing Rehab mm -hmm. Town Owner Agreement for I think this it says four women yeah. room, but this one's for Twenty One Herrick Road. Oh, there are two yeah. ones. All right, hold on. Oh, Jen, this is the one I need you to sign. What's the other address? This one says 21 Herrick Road. And then you've got one for 411. Okay. All right, so I'm going to sign this one to approve it. Anywhere else that I need to sign? I think so. This is great. All this work is getting done. I don't know. The one for okay. this wheelchair. Yeah, this one too. Okay. Yeah, this one. is my interest. Jen, do you want to come sign this one? Do you mind? Municipal Environmental Certifying Officer, is that stuff? Mm -hmm. Yes. I can't hear you. We have two of them. She said we have another. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, so okay. we just have one. So, so the one that um, the one that TJ and um, Jeff have is for. Four Wyman. Four Wyman. But I don't have an original for four Wyman unless it's in the other packet. Oh, here it is. Yep. So there's two. Um, hold on, wait, don't leave. I need you to sign this one too. So the motion will be for four Wyman Road and 21 Herrick Road. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. please. That's done. That's done. That's done. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. I didn't get the other one. So I got you. Mm -hmm. 
cool again. Thank you. That's it. Here. That's it. Okay. Um, Mike, do you want to tell us you were starting before telling us that you had a call with um, tomorrow with Sean Conan? I guess you want to tell us a little bit about. Uh, yes. Uh, there's concerns about the. Uh, I, I'd really like to not say too much about it till after the meeting, but okay. I guess there's concerns about the uh, um, the grant that uh, uh, it. Uh, hasn't been spent out and yet the yeah. primary use for it was which was for the uh, uh, operator and training of shared positions mm -hmm. and uh, initially it was supposed to be the operating training in a, a full-time this existing position but uh, I don't know that they're inclined to, to uh, fund both of those right now okay. um, so the, we uh, may have to we may have to give some of the money back. Yes, based on my initial discussions with PVPC. So last week, um, when West Chester was here, they were talking about um, trying to get some of the payment uh, salary paid um, retroactively. I That's don't not know. Sean, it's going to look. From my discussions with PVPC, that he was not terribly amenable to that. I will okay. argue for that tomorrow. Can you um, reach out to Andy Myers from Chester Finance and see okay. if he will join you on the call? I'm sure that he would be available. He's been working on this since the beginning, and he would, um, I think he'd be a valuable part of that. I, I will see if I can get a meeting with him and uh, Sean. Yeah. But uh, as of now, the meeting scheduled for 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, so I don't know okay. if that'll be a time. I don't know if I have time. Andy's, let me just look real quick and see if I have his on. Um, just because he's he's so invested in it, I do. Okay, let me send him a quick text. Is it on Zoom? No, it's just a phone call. Okay. I hate giving money back. All right, so if he says yes, I will just um, connect you via text, and then okay. you guys can work that out. Okay, um, and then I have something to hear about the um, pavement management. Did you have that phone number, by the way? Yeah, do you want me to just yes. forward it to you? Um, something here about the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission um, pavement management program. Oh, is this the... What yes. you yeah. were talking about. Yes. Okay, never mind. We already did that. So you don't need me to sign that. No. Uh, we're going to look for some funding for that okay. first. Perfect. And then we've got the special town meeting warrant. I don't think I need this in here again. No, that would That's take care of that close to. Okay. That's just extra. And you've got a re department report. Uh, oh, no, report. I don't have a new one. I just got it late today. So. Okay. Um, I've got a copy of it. Oh, here. I see. Is that what you said? That's last week's. Oh, that's last week. week. You can see the day one. Right. So, three, four. Oh, it's the current one. If you want. To... Joanne, did you email me one? No, because I just got it real late. Okay. Uh, Sean forgot to send me payroll, so I called him at the last minute and he sent me that with it. Okay. Um, so I didn't bother printing it. Okay. And we're looking at where's my cheat sheet? Hold on. <laughs> it's uh, March first, sixty-seven percent, TJ. Sixty-seven.
Did the money get moved around, do you know, for the um, new town hall maintenance and repairs? I know that one was, we had submitted. Joanne, didn't we submit something to, that there was wrong? The wrong I know we were thing? in the middle of it when Chris was here, but what happened with it? So the, well, it's at 89 um, and then it went to Ira, and Ira did enough for one one week, and yeah. I didn't hear anything about it after that. Is it still at 89? What page are you on? I'm on page, um, page three. Page. My fingers do work at night. <laughs> I thought you were stuck on it. <laughs> Go on, glue them together. All right. Yeah, it's at 89 there, I think. That one. Yeah. Um, Nothing there. It's at 89%. So we have uh, 1,700 left. They did put some money in them because there was it was gone. Yeah, it says amended 8,600. So we really need to be careful what we're budgeting for that account next year because we keep under budgeting. Yep. We had to move eight over eight thousand dollars into there. And the year's not even over. So yeah. <laughs> so that's just ridiculous. So we should be budgeting. Uh right now it's at thirteen nine that we've spent. I mean, we should probably be budgeting at least seventeen thousand, I would imagine. Mike, the big pro biggest part of that was what we were talking about fire Making control. Fire control. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was the biggest part of why that went down yeah. quickly. I mean, they're really saying so I didn't think Um, And then the other one that's high is the town hall miscellaneous expenses, including mowing. That's always It's at 83%. We budgeted 10000 We've already spent 8330 That's always bad. Yeah. So that one is another one that typically gets under budgeted. Um, and then 86%. Oh, but that's it. That's fine. We pay that in advance. Yeah, you can learn. I do listen. Um, Mike is actually looking into it. I, I, I can't go without a computer much longer. It's really, you don't have anything. Oh, it's just really bad. It's, just, oh, right. it's bad. It's old replacement. and it's okay. Things aren't coming. Uh, that are when I email things, I don't I don't find them. Okay. And I'll email them again. They'll show up, and it takes forever. And I don't shut it off anymore. It oh, takes forever good. Yeah, to you open need, up. Okay. Uh, you know, when I download something, I sit there and wait. Yeah. Did you reach bad. out to our? Um, he has a quote. Yes. Okay. You got a quote. Okay. Well, I just need to identify the project. Okay. Um, I think that comes out of. I told him I I think I'll have some money left in uh, my office supply at the end of the year. Oh, okay. so if he needs that, he can. But I don't want to drain him right that. now. It's too early in the year. Okay. Um. Normally, I think we take that out of IT support. Normally. <laughs> yep. Um. And there's eight thousand dollars left in there, and we paid. I would have to look and see what we paid for our. Bills we usually pay early. A couple thousand that. a month. Yeah. For them. But we pay a big chunk early, I think, right? Oh, do we? Yeah, because it's it's at eighty six percent, and some and Chris would say we already paid that one early. That's right. I, I was planning on <laughs> discussing this on Monday because we do have that two thirty meeting. So okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Anything else? Ninety-seven percent. That's highway equipment rental. Eighty-three percent. Is that fuel? Yeah, fuel. Ninety-seven is tree canopy. Anyone have any contact with the tree warden? What What if he's not here tonight? I think he's he's up. Is he up tonight? Oh, maybe not. The tree warden. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's up for um, nomination, and he told I. He asked me if there was anything he could do, and I said, "Just please be here so you can sign." Oh, the right. okay. That was my question. If he's not here, what do we do about his nomination? Yeah. Very good. So we can so I haven't met him yet. I like Throw a rope around him. <laughs> Tie him to the the radiator. To the chair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Done. Uh, highway. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, building maintenance. What's this one for? Oh, Board of Health. 
Jennifer, Jennifer Lee, Jennifer, Jennifer Lapple. Yeah, she just got it. Um, they're building a maintenance is at 87 percent. But I think that has to do with Brett starting the building of the the new shed. Yeah. Sounds good. Let's find it on Brett. Um, Brett left to council on aging, but they are perfectly aware of that. 73 percent library salaries. So that's uh, might be a little high, Mary. Should be at 67. Unless we're just off by like one pay period, I don't know. Could be. Um, I'm not noticing anything else. Did you see anything, TJ? No, all done with everything. All right. That's Looks good. So the caucus starts at seven. That's true. Is there anything? Oh, uh, the um, the parade. I reached out to fire department and there's a couple of folks that are willing to drive some trucks, fire trucks. And then Chief BBL said that she would be there. And then you're gonna do the other truck with me. Okay. Do you want to? You don't have to. Joanne drives it. Last well, I was gonna walk with Daisy last time, but they wouldn't let they don't really take your dog anymore. What? Isn't that crazy? I had her all dressed up and ready to walk in the same pad. She was all excited. <laughs> And then they banned us, and poor Joanne had to ride with Daisy, like, in her face in the yeah. truck. She was, was like, fine. <laughs> uh, and it's like three hours of sitting in the truck. Um, so if there's anyone else that wants to join us, that wants to walk or represent Blantford, we can put, put it out there on, um, I don't know who runs the town Blantford pages, but if anyone wants to. When's the parade? It's on St. Patty's Day this year. It's on a Sunday. 17th? Yeah, it's on the 17th. So, so if something can go on the website. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, if someone if something wants to go, uh, someone wants to put something on the website. But I was thinking, whoever runs the Facebook pages, I don't know if they want to ask anyone, and they're welcome to just I reach out to me, um, or even help with helping like decorate the truck. You know, last year was a disaster because it was so windy. Do you want me to try to rent a bubble machine again? Up to you. Maybe I'll try. I have to call. Um, I can get it on Facebook and. Uh... You know the Blanford friends and neighbors and all that stuff. Okay. Um. Yeah. Can you yeah. And then I was thinking for Earth Day, I'd like to do a cleanup near McDonald's. If anyone's interested in joining me, the McDonald's. I don't know if it's east or west, but near the water pump station is there's so much trash. And I just thought if maybe we can put it out there that Blanford folks will do a cleanup. Me and my girls will walk. But I was wondering if um. Or to help in any trash bags that they could give us. Yeah, like there's trash bags everywhere. I don't um, spend any money. And like any of those Cats grabber things, things <laughs> would be helpful. But it's just covered. Really? I, it's really gross. It's, it needs to get cleaned up. So I thought that would be a good Earth Day project. I think it's the beginning of April, right? Mm -hmm. Earth Day is like the eighth or something, the first weekend. So how do I how do I word this Earth Day project? That's fine. Yeah. Um, Clean up. Volunteers needed clean up um, near, is it eastbound or westbound? Does anyone know? That's west. It's That's westbound. west. Um, outside of the westbound. Um, but the, the one that's eastbound. If you're the, on, the, on, the, on, the, oh, the North Street side? Oh, near yeah, the pump that's station. East, yeah, east. east. Sorry, eastbound. Yeah. 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 It's just. So like right outside the gate kind of thing? Yeah, so outside the gate. Boys. It's not even, I would say like, I don't know, not even like a quarter mile maybe area a stretch of road like, on both sides that's just covered in trash and needs to get that on there to need some love bag it and throw it over their fence yes open <laughs> it in their dumpster it's like just sit. Um, <laughs> right well then i was thinking how can i recycle it yeah, okay i think that's all i have call it call it please all right meeting adjourns and then we're going to the podcast soon it's at 6 49 thank you Oh, it says that's a landmine. Um, the 21 hair crow. Yeah. You want to see it? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Is this it? No, that's him. No. The one in the middle of the face. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's oh, apparently that number was a. Yeah.